Hey, what's up, Squatchers? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be working on the 1KZ. I'm going to be building a throttle cable bracket. I'm going to be building a mount right here off the intake. And I'm probably going to be using this piece right here. I'll probably cut this off and weld it onto the new bracket. And I'm going to have a plate come out here for this piece right here, which I got off the, um, the old parts, the old throttle cable bracket. And uh, I just took this off, and so I'm basically going to be using this with the cable here, and then I'm going to build a uh, template with a bolt with the bracket to come down so it'll connect to here. So as as this pulls, it'll push this. It's kind of hard to demonstrate, but I'm going to have a lever here to where as it pulls, it'll push. And so that's kind of the idea that I'm going for. Um, and I'm going to be manufacturing my own bracket for this. And we'll bring you along for the ride. Okay, so basically got my base uh, here, that's the bolt holes are lining up. So uh, I've got it mounted to where it's pretty good. I might go and round this corner off just a little bit. Um, so that way it's not tucked in nowhere near the metal injector line. So I don't mess anything up there. But then I basically have this piece that came off the, the, the old throttle body here. And I'm just going to probably cut this off down here and then weld it to the top of here and then i'll be able to come off with a plate right here so i can drill a hole for the uh actual pulley so hang tight guys i'm gonna get this uh cut off and weld it up and show you guys what i'm doing there welded onto the bracket and so now I'm basically just going to take another piece of metal here and put a and put a base there you go now you can see it and put a base plate here so that way the actual actuator has something to sit on and spin on Okay, you guys so here it is I drilled the hole out I uh, welded this bolt to the bottom of this uh, pulley system and then so as you can see the cable comes through here attaches through here this brackets coming out but really nice and then so at the bottom of here I'm gonna have a bar a little tab come off to where I can connect a bar from there to here and then so that way as this cable pulls on this pulls the tab will 
the rod will push this and that'll be my throttle system there. Okay, so finally got the throttle body all hooked up as you can see here. This is what we started with and got a, uh, this old uh, throttle cable linkage here that I welded to a rod down to here, had a plate come off there, and then I ordered these pieces for this uh, uh, linkage to the injection pump off uh, Amazon. And they're just, you know, little throttle ball bearings, uh, linkage style, just to make this bar with some all thread here. And so, yeah, so it's all, it's all hooked up. Let me try to get a good angle of this. So as it turns, it pushes the injection pump forward. Um, I also ran into some engineering problems and so I really just had to put the camera down and kind of go to town on figuring everything out. Uh, one of them was that this was getting binding, getting binded up. Uh, the bearing I had put in there, whenever I had welded it in, it had warped the bearing. So it, it was sticking and everything else on it. Um, so what I did is I just cut a hole into this plate and then I don't know if you can see up in there, but I just uh, put some washers up up there on the on the both the top and bottom just to kind of act as a bearing to make it slide and not stick. And then I also built this little spring here, uh, made made my own little return spring out of a coat hanger. I just uh, wrapped it around a socket and then put one end up in here to pull it back, and then one end on the back side down here to hold it to. So. As you pull, it makes it come back. And other than that, guys, that was pretty much it for the throttle linkage system that I've got set up here. Like I said, um, oh, one other problem that I ran into was that when I had welded this bottom piece down, I had, I had before I had actually had it like coming out over here and it worked, it hooked up and everything. But when you go inside, there was no pedal movement. I had like that much pedal movement inside the truck. Um, so little little engineering, I actually just turned this bar, angled it more out, so that way I'd have more uh, more travel for the throttle pedal, and that that cleaned it all up. And so now I got full 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 uh, throttle pedal movement, and then I also have full uh, throttle movement here at the injection pump as well so so that should take care of the throttle cable system i've got it all put in next i'm going to be working on the fuel system i'm probably going to have a fuel pump uh make a fuel mount make a make a mount for the fuel filter i've got the fuel filter the housing shipped in from overseas i was able to get this uh wix fuel filter from o'reilly's it's the 33138 um it does not come with the bottom uh fuel water separator sensor i did find one at napa that's supposed to be coming in tomorrow so hopefully the, I, I will have this whole housing put together and i will be able to figure out where exactly where i need to position it and mount it on this fender well and then i'm going to run uh take the uh, bed off the truck run fuel lines uh clean all that up uh, so hang in there guys we're gonna do it one video at a time and we're gonna get this all put together i'll see you in the next one